How's it going, everybody? Blaine here for Bridge 4 Games. Happy Indigo Disc Day. It is finally here. We finally have part two of the DLC for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And today we're going to try and answer the question that everybody is asking. How the heck do you get legendary Pokemon in the Indigo Disc? Well, today I'm going to show you how. We have a lot to talk about, so let's get started. All right, now in order to start catching legendary Pokemon in the Indigo Disc, you are going to have to complete the main storyline first. So go ahead, you know, take down all of that. It did take me about four or so hours, kind of going fairly quickly. But, you know, once you're done, that's where we're going to really be able to pick this up. Now, once everything is completed, you have all the stuff with Kieran wrapped up, go to the main entrance of Blueberry Academy, and then over on the right-hand side, you're going to see this guy. Now, we've seen this guy in the trailers before. He is Snacksworth. And you may know from his name, but he is going to give us some snacks. Every single legendary Pokemon that's going to be available through this system... I think there's 16. They all have a treat associated with them. Now, as you can see on screen right now, this is the Lunala treat, which I got earlier. The way you get these treats, you have to complete the BBQs, the Blueberry Quest, throughout the course of your game. Now, what's interesting is, it doesn't really seem like you have to complete any ones that are specific. Just doing general ones over and over are how you earn these. Each of the treats seems to be awarded at a certain threshold, be it like 10 BBQs, 20, 30, 40, however many done. Now, as far as I can tell, it is random. There's no real rhyme or reason. My very first one I got was Lunala. I've heard of some people getting Articuno as their first one. And I've heard a lot of people saying the dogs, like Ante Raiko Suicune, were as far down as like 100. So, you know, obviously, we are going to have to do a lot of BBQs. But there is a good chance you could get your favorite legendary pretty much right off the bat. But anyways, talking about Snacksworth, he, he's a talker. So what happens is he's going to go ahead and give you your treat, and then he's going to tell you a story about something that he did when he was a younger man somewhere in Paldea. So in the case of Lunella, he was talking about spending time on a sandy beach watching the uh, sunset. So what you're going to have to do is once you get all these treats, you're going to have to kind of decode what location it's talking about and then go there and that's where you'll find the Pokemon. When you have the key item on you, you don't have to activate it or to do anything special. When you walk up, the Pokemon will just be there. As you can see right here, Lunella was just standing on the edge of this cliff. Now, one thing I did find frustrating, it did say a beach, like, pretty clearly, and this is not a beach. We are overlooking one, but I was crawling around on almost every beach in Paldea looking for this thing. So, just keep in mind that the locations may be kind of relative. Now, with that being said, we don't as of yet have, like, a comprehensive location guide of where everything is. This is where Lunella is. I, mean, I have it on the map, so you can see that. Uh, but that being said, Joe Merrick over on Cerebi does have all the uh, like poems or all the uh, stories, so you can start figuring out which ones are you know where or kind of approach it that way. I'm gonna go ahead and put the link for that down in the description below, so you can kind of browse it at your leisure. But that being said, this is the method that you're gonna have to go through to get these legendaries. And unfortunately, here's the worst part: they are all shiny locked. We cannot shiny hunt any of the new Pokemon, really. The new Paradoxes, the Legendaries, everything is shiny locked, which really stinks. <laughs> so it, it is what it is. But on the other hand, if you do just happen to come across one of your Legendaries, you really don't have to hesitate catching it as long as that's, you know, decent enough for you. There's not really that great opportunity to hunt it that much in these games. But that being said, guys, that's how you can go ahead and catch these legendaries that are returning in the Indigo Disc. Go ahead, get them, and add them to your collection. You're not going to regret it. All right, so there you go, guys. I hope the video was helpful and informative, and uh, maybe you just enjoyed hearing me talk for a little bit. I don't know. But if you did get something out of the video, please make sure that you giga impact that like button in the face. And, of course, consider subscribing, because as we are growing as a channel, that kind of stuff really helps. And it lets YouTube know that you guys love our content, which is always a good thing. So with that being said, though, I have to go ahead and get back into the teal mask. I got more videos I got to make for you guys. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you around. Bye-bye.